All right, this is a little video to demonstrate the SMD Demore Engineering CC1 crossover calibrator. We're going to test it, uh, test its accuracy, prove its accuracy. We're going to test it against this Audio Precision APX515. This is a very expensive, accurate piece of equipment. And um, we're going to show how close the CC1 is or how it compares. Um, the whole reason this exists is because if I want to set my crossover, let's say at 112 hertz, I mean, look at this control here. I have 80 and then 160. I have no idea where 112 is. And this amplifier is actually a pretty good example of one that um, you know that's fairly easy to do because it has a lot of markings and they're fairly accurate on this amplifier but you might have an amplifier that looks something like this one you know it says 30 on one side and 500 on the other so there's no way of knowing where you are hence the purpose of the or why the CC1 exists so let's try it out so I'm, we're gonna do a low pass I wanna set this crossover low pass and I wanna set it to um, let's say 63 hertz. I'm going to set low pass 63. So I have to play track 14. Alright, track 14. Turn the CC1 on. And it shows signal. It's already hooked up and connected. So then we move the crossover switch to low pass. And then we start with this knob all the way up for low pass. When we go to the CC1, we press read, and that indicator light tells us how to adjust this, this control here. And we're looking for 63 hertz, so I just passed it. And right about there is 63 hertz according to the CC1. So let's just find out about that. We can measure it on the audio precision real, real quick here and see how accurate the CC1 is. So I'm just going to run a little sweep, frequency response sweep. There it is. There's the frequency response. And the crossover point is defined as the point where the signal goes 3 dB down. That's uh, the definition. So. 63 hertz is what we were looking for. This should be minus 3 at 63 hertz. So, so that is very accurate. Um, about as good as you're going to get, especially with this little tiny knob that's, that's here on the amplifier for sure. Another demonstration video of the CC1 here. This time we're going to set a high pass crossover. This time we're going to go for a high pass setting of 125 hertz. So I need to play track 20. Come over here and set this on track 20. There we go. Turn the CC1 on. Make sure I have my RCA plugged into the amp, that'll help. And uh, we're going to go high pass. And in high pass, you start with the control all the way down. High pass all the way down. Our track is, is playing over there, 125 hertz. Read. And now we adjust. And there we are. That should be 125 hertz. We're going to use this time the special feature that's in the CC1. Uh, it's the gain matching mode. Something for competitors we threw in here is kind of an extra bonus feature. If you want to match the gain of multiple amplifiers or in the case of what I have here on the bench, a four channel, I'm going to match the fronts and the rears together because I don't have multiple amplifiers here. 
but we're going to do it with the CC1 and then verify it on the audio precision to see how accurate it is. So we turn it on. To get into special mode, you can't have this plugged in. It has to be off of the unit, and then you push and hold the read button for three seconds, maybe five, and then you get this little light show that comes on that tells you we're in the special mode now, gain matching mode. So we touch the probe. We play a track off the test disc. Doesn't really matter which frequency you use, just something that uh, you know where you want to match. Maybe if you're a competitor and you're burping at 60 hertz, then you want to use the 60 hertz track just in case there's something off in your system somewhere. So we're going to match this front channel with one of these rear channels. So we push read. And it says calibrated, so it's locked into this front channel. So now we just take the probe and stick it on the rear channel, and it's going to tell us where the gain is at the rear channel. It's saying that it's low and it needs to go up. So we turn the gain pod into we're dialed. There we are. So now the CC1 says these two channels are at the same level. Okay, let's verify it with the audio precision. So this channel that we're on now, there's the level of it in dB, and I'm going to move this probe to the rear channel, and we are there. So you can see there's the rear channel, here's the front channel. We're within like four one thousandths of a decibel right now, so it is matched. There you have it.